Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nivedita. So this is KC 2023 most important topics discussion series. So I already made a playlist regarding this series. So I provide link in the description, kindly check it out. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about endocrine glands, their secretion as well as function. So it is very, very important topic. So not only for paper two, that is not only for uh, life science paper, there might be a chance uh, to ask in paper one also. Okay, so now without any further delay, let's get started. So now endocrine glands, hormones released, chemical classes, that is a particular hormone coming under which chemical class. Next is the target tissue or organ and also major function. Okay, so the first hormone here is that is hypothalamus, that is sorry, endocrine gland is what? That is hypothalamus. So in this hypothalamus, which hormone is released? That is hypothalamic releasing and inhibiting hormones. So these hypothalamus hormones are coming under peptide chemical class, which are made up of proteins. So here these hypothalamus hormones are targeted to anterior pituitary. Okay, so specific hormones are targeted to specific organ or specific tissues, right? So in that, these hypothalamus are targeted to this anterior pituitary. So next come to the major function. So the major function of this hypothalamus is what? This will regulate the anterior pituitary hormone. Okay. So this hypothalamic releasing and inhibiting hormone are regulate the anterior pituitary hormone. Okay. So next endocrine gland that is posterior pituitary. Okay. So in this posterior pituitary ADH hormone is released. That is nothing but antidiuretic hormone. Okay, so this antidiuretic hormone is coming under peptide chemical class that is also made up of protein. Okay, so next this uh, target tissue or organ is what? This uh, antidiuretic hormone targeted to, to the kidney, only to the kidney organ. So next the major function of this posterior pituitary is what? Which will stimulate the water reabsorption by kidneys. Okay, so... Uh, that is a major function of kidney. It has to reabsorb the water as well as some ions, right? So this hormone, which one? ADH hormone will stimulate the water reabsorption by kidneys. Okay. So next is the posterior pituitary. So this posterior pituitary will release the hormone that is oxytocin. This oxytocin is coming under a peptide chemical class. And the target tissue of this oxytocin is that is uterus and also memory glands. So the major function of this oxytocin is what? Which will stimulate the uterine muscle contraction. So the major function of this oxytocin during the pregnancy. Okay. So during the childbirth, it will, you know, stimulate the uterine muscle contraction. And also in the lactating period, it will help to and also stimulates to release of milk by the memory gland. Don't get confused. This hormone only stimulates the release of milk by memory glands, not for production. Okay. So that is oxytocin is released from this posterior pituitary. Okay. So next to endocrine gland, that is anterior pituitary. So under this anterior pituitary, several hormones are released. So one by one, we discuss now. So first one is what? Thyroid stimulating hormone. It is also called as TSH. So this TSH, TSH is coming under glycoprotein chemical class, not peptide class. This TSH coming under glycoprotein, uh, you know, uh, chemical class. So this will target it to the thyroid organ. So this, the major function of this ant anterior pituitary is what? Which will stimulate the thyroid. Okay. So next, uh, this which one? ACTH, that is adrenocorticotic hormone, which is also coming under ant anterior pituitary so this acth coming under peptide chemical class and this will target the adrenal cortex okay so the major function of this acth is which will also stimulate the adrenal cortex okay so next is the gonadotropic hormone so which will includes fsh as well as lh fsh means follicle stimulating hormone fsh means what that is follicle stimulating hormone. So LH means that is luteinizing hormone. Okay. So this gonadotropic is also coming under glycoprotein chemical class. So this will target it to the gonads. 
okay so the major function of this ffh and lh is what egg and sperm production and also sex hormones production so here the target tissue which is that is gonads so the major function is what which will helps to egg production as well as sex production okay so this gonadotropic mainly fsh and lh there are some other hormones are there which are coming under reproductive system so that uh, release from some other endocrine gland but this fsh and lh are released from this gonadotropic hormones okay so next is the prolactin also called as prl so this is coming under the uh, protein chemical class this will targeted to the mammary glands and the major function of this prolactin is what that is milk production so don't get confused with this oxytocin and prolactin so here oxytocin which will stimulate the release of milk by mammary glands but this prolactin hormone which is helps for the production of milk production of milk is different release that is stimulate uh, stimulation of releasing uh, releasing of milk is different okay so that's why prolactin helps to the milk production and oxytocin will stimulates the release of milk by mammary glands okay so next is the growth hormone which is also coming under protein chemical class this will target it to the soft tissue and also bone so anyhow growth hormone the name itself says it, it is helps for the growth right so the major function of this growth hormone is what that is cell division protein synthesis and also bone growth so here cell division means what the division of cell for example if any injury takes place to our skin so uh, after some days it will recover so how it is recover because of the cell division so cell division means what the dead cells are removed and new cells are new cells grown takes place right so, so that is done by a cell division so for this cell division which hormone is responsible that is growth hormone is responsible okay so now just move to the next hormone So next is what that is thyroid endocrine gland. So with uh, the hormones are thyroxin T4 and also triiodothyroxine. Two hormones are released in the thyroid gland. That is thyroxine is also called as T4 and triiodothyroxine is also called as T3. Okay. So here the chemical class of this T4 is what that is. iodinated okay and chemical class of t3 is what that is amino acid okay so next the target organ or tissue which will targeted to the all tissues and the major function of this uh, thyroid glands that is thyroid hormones is what that is increase the metabolic rate and regulates growth and development okay so this thyroid glands which will increase the metabolic rate as well as regulates the growth and also development okay so next uh, hormone that is calcitonin which is also coming under thyroid gland so this is also peptide chemical class so, so target uh, target organ is bones kidneys as well as intestine so the major function of this calcitonin is what which will lowers the blood calcium level okay this calcitonin lowers the blood calcium level okay so next endocrine gland that is parathyroid so under this parathyroid parathyroid hormone is released that is pth hormone is released so this is peptide chemical class so this will target to bones kidneys and and also intestine so here this will raises the chemical level so calcitonin lowers the blood calcium level and this parathyroid hormone will increase or raise as the blood calcium level okay so calcitonin parathyroid both are related to the calcium so this calcitonin will increase parathyroid will decrease okay so next is that is endo adren sorry adrenal cortex uh, that is endocrine gland so uh, under this adrenal cortex glucocorticoids and also mineral corticoids sex hormones are released okay so first one is the glucocorticoids this glucocorticoids are also called as cortisol 
both are same cortisol glucocorticoids both are same okay so this glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids and sex hormones are coming under steroid chemical class not peptide not glycoprotein so these are coming under steroid that is fat derivative okay so this cortisol will uh, targeted to the all tissues and the major function of this cortisol is what which will raise blood glucose level and stimulates the breakdown of protein okay so which will increase the blood glucose level and also stimulates the breakdown of protein so which will helps for the protein metabolism okay so next is the mineralocorticoids also called as aldosterone okay so here this is also coming under steroid chemical class so this will target to the kidneys and the major function of this aldosterone is what reabsorb sodium and excrete potassium okay so this aldosterone will reabsorb sodium and also excrete potassium okay sodium potassium channel just remember that aldosterone okay reabsorb the sodium and also excrete the potassium okay so next is the sex hormones so the sex hormones are coming under the steroid chemical classes and the ta target organ that is gonads skin muscles and also bones so the major function of the sex hormones are stimulates the reproductive organs and brings on sex characteristics okay so when compared to the uh, why in the targeted organ you can see gonad skin muscles and also bones are there so why skin why muscles because uh, there is a, uh, you know different there is a different changes takes place between male and female right so when come to the muscle the muscle mass is differ from male and female and also when come to the skin the appearance of the beard okay appearance of the hair in several organs so that is depends on the you know uh, male and female that's why here which will stimulates the reproductive organs and also brings on sex characteristics so these are coming under adrenal cortex at you know endocrine gland okay so next move on to the next endocrine gland okay so here the next one is adrenal medulla so adrenal medulla so this adrenal medulla will release epinephrine and also nor epinephrine so this epinephrine and nor epinephrine are also called as adrenaline adrenaline and also nor adrenaline okay so both are same epinephrine and also adrenaline both are same nor epinephrine nor adrenaline both are same okay so the chemical classes is that is modified amino acids so usually that is from tyrosine phenylalanine are involved so uh, if you just go through the metabolism of the amino acids so the se several pathways are that is tyrosine to phenylalanine conversion takes place so now uh, at that case tyrosine is converted to dopa then dopa will gives rise to several hormones so that that several hormones are epinephrine and nor epinephrine okay so here the targeted tissue is that is cardiac and also other muscles so here the major function of this hormone is released in emergency situation this adrenaline uh, you know adrenaline hormone is also called as emergency hormone adrenaline hormone is also called as emergency hormone okay so during emergency condition adrenal adrenaline hormone will release okay which will raises the blood glucose level and also flight and fight response that is adrenal medulla that is adrenaline and nor adrenaline hormone are also called as flight or fight hormone because during emergency condition this hormone is released that's why it is also called as flight or fight response okay so next endocrine gland that is pancreas so this pancreas will release insulin and also glucagon okay anyhow these both are coming under the protein and targeted tissue this insulin will target liver muscles and adipose tissue glucagon is also targeted to the same organs okay so the major function of this insulin and glucagon is what insulin lowers the blood glucose level and promotes formation glycogen 
and glucagon will raise as the blood glucose level okay so insulin lowers the blood glucose level this glucagon will raise as the blood glucose level okay just remember insulin decrease glucagon increase what increase blood glucose level okay so and also this insulin will promotes the formation of glycogen because why because when you know blood glucose level lowers takes place what happen it has to form glycogen it has to break down the glycogen for the glucose right so that's why this will promotes the formation of glycogen for the you know for atp synthesis so next is next endocrine gland that is testis and hormone release that is androgens okay so that is testosterone in the case of male and in the case of female that is estrogen so later we discuss regarding this so now that is testis a hormone released is androgen that is testosterone so this testosterone are coming under the steroid or chemical class that is fat derived so next the target tissue is gonads skin muscles and also bones which will stimulates the male characteristics that is male sexual characteristics okay okay so this testis will stimulate the male sex characteristics so next endocrine gland that is ovaries so ovaries will release estrogen and also progesterone so estrogen is a female or hormone and this progesterone is also called as pregnancy hormone oh, during the pregnancy only this progesterone hormone will release okay so this is also steroid uh, steroid chemical class hormone so this will target it to gonads skin muscles as well as bones and this uh, estrogen and progesterone will stimulate the female sex characteristics okay so next endocrine gland that is thymus which will remove uh you know which will sorry which will release thymosin hormone so this is peptide chemical class so it will target it to the t lymphocytes which is coming under immune immune system okay so this will stimulate the production and maturation of t lymphocytes okay so there are two types of lymphocytes are there b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes which are involved in the you know uh, production of antibodies like that uh, immunology thing okay so basically to fight against the antigen that is to fight against the microorganisms okay so th this thymus is also called as uh, you know immune organ immune system organ okay so next is the pineal gland this pineal gland so this pineal gland endocrine gland will release the melatonin hormone so this is coming under modified amino acid chemical classes which will target it to the brain only brain so the major function of this pineal gland is what which will controls the cir uh, circadian and uh, circadian rhythm mainly circadian rhythm possibly involved in maturation of the sexual hormones okay so that is about this video that is regarding the hormones video so just go through the you know endocrine glands hormones chemical classes target tissue and also functions just go through the slide that is more than enough regarding this hormones okay so if any doubts regarding this just let me know in the comment box if you like this video hit the like button and share maximum with your friends and uh, thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel